I don't think that affects me if I'm writing to you, though, right? Well, whatever, anyway. We're gonna make this either way. Wolfman. Am I glad that I saved before I searched, huh? I can't escape. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Day R Survival. I'm your host, The Bird. I hope you guys are enjoying the little return here. I'm gonna play this for a little bit longer. I at least want to get up to the update towards the end of the month, which is gonna completely revamp the entire fighting system. It's gonna turn into like apparently some sort of weird grid-based combat or something, which sounds very enticing. It's a lot better than just going into the screen looking at a, you know, a decrepit rat and hitting attack and then, you know, having it be a dice roll. So I'm very excited about how they make the new fighting system work. Right now, in case you're wondering, though, I'm um, off camera. I made myself from wherever we left off. I think it was down here, maybe? I think it was up there. I went down through Zelenoborski. Haven't gone there yet, but I went down to Chupa and a couple of towns along the way to get some items, level myself up a little bit. If we go over to character, we can see that I am very close to getting a mechanic to level 4, which would give us the motorized cart. A lot of people have told me not to get the motorized cart, but dude, I've been carrying this chainsaw for so long, which is weighing me down, that I feel like I gotta make it at this point. So in here, we're supposed to go down to apparently the clinic ward to find out a bit more information. Um, everything is looking pretty good this far, though. So let's jump over to the tailor shop. And a needle would be nice because I've been trying to level up my sewing to make some more advanced stuff for faster leveling, but my homemade, um, or at least my makeshift needles keep breaking really quickly. Let me search this body out over here. Nothing of value. I'll take those smokes, though. I'll take those needles, and let me just uh, not pick you up, but tear you down for a bit more sewing, and I'll definitely take threads. That's about it here for now. Um, and let's go over to those. I'll ignore the ruined buildings. Normally, nothing good in them. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna go through here just because I'm seeing those pants, which you can tear down for some more sewing, and maybe that body's got something good here. I believe the blue, all blue bodies are like soldiers, which then with those you could actually get broken guns. And if you deconstruct that, you'll get more parts to make a Makarov gun. And also, um, just more mechanic in general. So that's good. So that's done. Nothing crazy found there. What about next door? Not really sure if I want to fight you right now, young man. But, um, I guess I'll give it a try. 76% chance of winning. Whatever you do, don't scratch any of my limbs that makes me unable to use the bicycle. That's all I ask of you, okay? Ooh! We got 10 to firearms for doing that as well. Very good. Is that enough to level up anytime soon? Firearms, we're at level 1. Oh, we're getting to level 2. Not bad. Alrighty. So that's fairly alright. My bike could use a bit of a repair. We're only down to two bike parts. Ooh. I gotta find some more bikes to tear down for parts. Oh, and um, another thing I mentioned too, people have been telling me Falcon feels gonna be very important. You should at least collect it, and if you can't carry it, at least um, move it to one location and mark them. So, here in Chupa, I got all the fuel imaginable and left it in a certain location. Thanks a lot for those tips. Keep leaving them, I'm always reading them and trying to become a, a better gamer at DR. I'm trying to get good. We got some more pants that we can tear down over here. Take that. And you. Search it. And search it. Take those smokes, buddy. Take those smokes. 12 radiation. A little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty. Mm, I imagine the bleeding will go away by itself, right? If I leave it long enough, but we got bandages. Go ahead and pop that in there. Why not? That plus, I think it gives you... Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought it gave you, like, a skill at something. All right. So let's go and check out our quest, although we got... No, I guess we'll check it out afterwards. Let's go to the wards here first. The scene is still the same. Skeletons all around, a lot of them dressed in shredded medical uniforms. It is unthinkable what happened here. Clearly no one know, knew how to cope with this disaster. This building could collapse at any moment. I don't want to stay here any longer. I will find as much medicine as I can, and maybe some documents. Then I'll leave. So we're looking for the hospital charts. But before- oh. Oh, is that right there? <laughs> okay, I thought I had to go to like a different part of the building for it. Simmer down the radiation, I see you building up. Here's our charts. Let's pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. Huh, oh, good. Can drink some of this water now. And search you. Take that tape. 
Take that vodka. Of course you would have vodka. Even the orderlies in the clinic had vodka on them. I mean, it wouldn't be Russia if your orderly does not have vodka on them, you know? Take a little bit of a blood sample. Take a shot. Why not? Although it does thin the blood at the same time, so maybe if you're getting blood withdrawn, you might want to, like, hold off on drinking. But hey, the orderly is fine to go. Um, so we're 94 right now. Not really too worried about the radiation, but you know what? We have this. Let's have a little bit of diluted spirits here. Maybe one more. That's good. All right. And we did pick up the quest item, correct? Inventory quest. There it is. September 18, 1984. That's 12 days before... Um, a birthday. The disease begins with coughing, weakness and fever. Symptoms of intoxication increase along dehydration and mental impairment. A death occurs three to five days within 24 hours is the worst case. The pathologist's findings don't provide any answers. Lung, kidney, liver and heart failure, likely caused by infectious disease. I found something useful in the station chief's office, so it was all an epidemic. Oh. And here I thought it was all radiation based. So it was all epidemic, but how did that connect with the nuclear bombing? Exactly! See, that's where I'm confused. I need to find the answer. I gotta keep going, moving south. So we're going to chem now, which is... oh... And there should be... more to be searched through here. I should handle a save, because I did kill that rat, and if I get attacked again... Don't get it injured, huh? Let me handle the save here really quickly. There it is. Okay, get, get out of here. Okay, um, you, search. Will you have vodka yourself, my friend? No, not this guy. See, this orderly took his job a little bit more serious. I know I'm Russian, but I know that drink vodka at work. Alright, we got that, everything's good. And... More water. How much water do we have, anyway? 14. Yeah, I've been keeping it kind of low, because I'm, as you can see, I'm, I'm so overburdened with a bunch of things here. It really sucks, believe me. I need to get this freaking cart as soon as possible to make at least the, the bike with the cart so I can carry a bit more. This chainsaw is just pissing me off. Alrighty, so we are... I'm gonna skip this town, and what I'll do is, it's not really important, at least to the story. I'll just check it out off camera when I'm doing my grinding for items and skills. So we're just gonna jump into chem and just keep it kind of like story related for the videos at the very least here. What are we looking for here? Searching for the truth. I'm starting to get used to all these horrible scenes of death that before made me feel sick and terrified every time I became witness to them. Like I'm having an endless nightmares of destroyed towns and dead bodies with hollow eye sockets. I don't even feel anything anymore. I'm just surviving on instinct. But I need to know what the hell happened. Maybe this knowledge will lead me to survivors. Am I imagining things, or is there a light flickering in the police department? Um, we got... Pharmacy? Canteen of some kind? Municipal building? I'm hoping we can find a few more bike parts, because by the way, we're at 30 right now, we got two of these left. So I'm not exactly thrilled with the lack of bicycle parts that we're having. Let's go and check you out first here. And I might also have to do a little bit of gathering fuel. And just putting it in one location so I know that I come back in the future, I know where there's fuel. Take that, take that, and take that. <laughs> 97. So close up. Oh. Did I say it before we jumped in here? I think I did. Let's do this fight. Don't you dare scratch the leg. Nailed him. <laughs> Go on. Alright, pharmacy. Take all these. Luckily, these don't really weigh too much. And let's just patch up that wound. Alright, so that's done, that's done. Before we check out the municipal building, which normally there's nothing in there, really. Nothing really of value. We have a TV for an ad. I guess we could probably do that. Alrighty, so what did I get for that? Give me that sniper rifle, I'll even take the automatic gun, it's all good. Don't you dare give me tea. I forget what that's for. So I hope it's good. This is how I've been leveling up my mechanic too. Any car that I find, because of our crowbar and tools. This is sample for 10 mechanics. Oh, we're so close to unlocking that motorized cart. I can almost taste it. And we got some fuel here. That'll probably put me over the limit. Eh, just about. But I want to move it all into like one condensed location. My radiation's really high already. What the hell happened? 99. Okay, let's move this gas over to... I'm gonna say here. I guess you could search it. But I'm gonna drop all the gas over here. I'll pick up the one in the other road. I bring it here and this will be my other gas munition area. Let's uh, tear you down. Inventory. How much gas did we pick up right now? Like 3,000 something? 
I think I had like 6,000. Let me just drop like four in there so I can carry a bit more as well. And take fishies and take tape. Might as well check these bodies out. Nothing really good. But there's rags here, which you know what? Hold up. I've been meaning to fix my clothes here. And since we do got rags, might as well take advantage of that right now. Apparently we fix 20 every time. That's good. We're already kind of like in the halfway point of this armor, so... I do have a backup set. Can't repair that, apparently. Mmm... Hungry, radiation's becoming a little bit of a concern. And the shoes. Okay, so at least my armor for the most part is now a little bit cleared up. We might as well just repair you while we're at it, too. Oh, they got one more bike part. I'm worried. So, radiation, radiation, right. Also getting pretty tired. Uh, I do have some items to reduce one, but not the other. What do you do again? Hunger. No, pickles does radiation 10. Hunger 75. Perfect. Have the pickles now. Falcon's favorite meal out there. Okay. And we did leave the fuel here behind. Perfect. Let's come over here, grab the rest of this fuel. And more importantly, I think we should be leveling up right now to mechanics. Skills. Um, 26 away, which means like three more things taken apart. So, after this, one more, after these two, one more, we should level up again. Okay, great. So, you, let's mark you for feel as well. Alright. Jump over here and we check out the military, or not military, but the police station here pretty soon. Hmm. I'm still not finding bike parts. Or bicycles in general. I gotta find one soon, man. Take that wire. Uh, don't need that at the moment. Take you. Take you. Everything else here could technically stay, but I will drain you before I go. Uh, well, let's disassemble you, and this will give me my level up. So now we can skip the bicycle and car and go straight into the motorized version if we want. Improve crossbow as well. Molotov cocktails. Motorized card. Perfect. All right. So, what do I need for this bad boy? I still gotta make it right, obviously. But then all I do is after I make it, you add the chainsaw, the oils and the scraps, and then... Yeah, what it requires is very easy to get. Perfect. So, let's jump off to here. And dump... More of that. 95% load. Radiation's looking high yet again. Ugh. But I'm too tired is the thing. You know what I could do? Let's see. What do I have over here that could like alleviate this without having to like stop for a while? What do you do? Fatigue 50? Let's have one of you guys right now. And there you are. Let's have a couple of smokes here. Hanging out in a radiated area smoking. It's all good, man. I'm a baller that way. That's enough. And radiation. Now I could definitely invest in having to use this. I'll take it. You gotta be smart, you know? You gotta use everything around you. And speaking of being smart, nothing really that I care for. Let's go into the police station finally. We're in the armor. Hold up. I want to do a save before I get attacked by something vicious out here. I got a gas mask over here that's broken. And a police officer. So let's search about. Now, obviously, this is not the quest location. We probably have to go into like the main central area of the police station for that, but we'll get there eventually. Officer, what you got on you? Alright. And we'll disassemble you guys just for parts. Headquarters. There we go. There's our quest item. I wonder if I'm close enough to making that gun. I mean, I already have a Makarov gun that they gave me when I did the bought the game for the premium thing. But I just want to get all rid of all the parts, I guess. So, let's see. Components. Ten. I don't think that's enough to make your own Makarov, is it? Twenty. So I'm like halfway there, technically speak. Alright, let's search these bodies. You should have a couple more guns on you. Oh, you don't. Only one of you guys had the guns on you. What kind of dudes are you? Nay again to revolver cartridge? Sure, I'll take all this for now. Not crazy about the 97% load, though. And we have the quest item. We'll check that out soon. This is part of the same area. 
I think all we have now is going to be garages, right? Auto spare parts. I'm only really intrigued here by the wire. So I'll search it just for that, but we got to start booking here pretty soon. I don't want to dump any more items for radiation. So I'll take that. Uh. Oh, of course it would. Of course it would. Oh boy. What can we... Oh, well, we have to drink water soon. And eat. 99. Let's read our item and get on out of here. Police officer's diary. October 3rd, 1984. The phone won't stop ringing, but nobody has time to answer. There are only five left in the department, and most of them are losing their minds. I'm not sure what I'll hold on to, my sanity or my life. This really is the apocalypse. Today our people ride it again. They're becoming crazier by the day. Broken shop windows and wrecked cars are everywhere. Looters are running rampant. The situation is getting messier every day, and there's no way we can stop it now. All of our requests for help from another department have been ignored. I'm afraid the situation is similar in neighboring towns. And nobody knows what the hell's going on. People are dying, and the medics can explain it. The newspapers are going on about some mysterious, some mystery virus. The world is literally, or gone totally mad. It's a T-virus, dude. That's what it is. It was just a play on the light, but at least I found a police officer's diary. He was on the verge of a nervous breakdown, judging by the uneven handwriting. Poor guy. And now I have my first reference to an unknown virus. It seems like an epidemic broke out everywhere in October. And bombs were dropped in the town in November. I'm getting close to the truth. I have to keep moving while I'm able to go. I still hope to find people. So epidemic in October and bombs in November. Jeez Louise. That's like a attempt to completely annihilate this entire country, huh? So next location is uh, actually not too far from here too. We should be able to get there here today. Alright, so I, I, I guess we're technically done here, right? Gone through just about everything, unless I could go out of here. The parking lot, yeah. Uh, I'll do it just for your body. For more parts, no parts. Well, we do have fuel. So, let's also at least mark this area for fuel. I'm not going to do the entire lodging because we're just way too high when it comes to fatigue and radiation. So, fuel here and... In a sense, we also have fuel next door to the garages, so that's fine. Um, we still have the TP over there. Let's um, jump over to that and get our rest through there. Fire should have gone out by now. Yeah. But let's um, light that up. My concern is just water. We're getting very low on water now. Make this fire. And that's good. So we can get our rest this way. Nine water only, huh? Food is fine. We got plenty of stuff we can actually start cooking. But again, if I'm going to start doing this, it's going to also require water. So that's the only downside here. We'll get rid of the cans, which weigh a lot, but then we have to start using water to actually cook food as well. And there's a dried fish, but again, that also makes you thirsty as well. So we... <laughs> the problem right now is this freaking chainsaw and the fact that I can't get a freaking cart. Now, Bellamore's looks big enough that maybe there's a construction site there. So all we have to do is really go through, go through, or at least get through Zolotets, and hopefully there's a freaking construction site there, and we get our capacity upgrade. Um, for now, let's just sleep this off, I guess. Rage is no longer a concern. I, mean, I just want to stop the purifying water right now. Is my concern. Don't want to do that. Drink that. And we could wait a bit longer and just wait a bit longer. All right, let's go. Um, you must go away because you're overburdening me. Alrighty. People told me to drop that animal skin too. I should. I mean, I could always like legitimately hunt for skins later. Right now, it's just weighing. I mean, it doesn't weigh that much, but it does weigh a little bit of where the fact that since I'm at 97, 99% constantly, the extra bit of weight does indeed bother me. Yeah, you see that? It's like two kilograms each. Well, maybe I'll just drop it somewhere I plan to return to. I mean, I do plan to return here for a few in the future, I guess, so... A little bit tired. Uh, I don't have any sodas on me or coffee. Need to make a fire really quickly for that tea. But even then, you know, let's just have a couple of smokes. I mean, as long as we mitigate the amount of smoking that we do, the poison... 
poison shouldn't be a big deal. I'm gonna escape right now because I don't think I've saved since I got here, buddy. For some reason, that rat was only 81% chance to kill, and he's not even the radiated version. So Homeboy's been working out. He's been putting in some work at the gym rat somewhere. Anyway, let me do what I want to do here, which was to apparently smoke. Let me ruin my lungs, dude. Where have they gone to? Cigarettes. Uh... Huh. That's good. 15. We'll probably drop another one if we need it. Oh, um, those cans... Uh, excuse me, cans. I saw you just now. You're only five, but just... Get away from me. Alright, up. Uh, no, no, no. Wrong way. So, there's nothing really too important here. We will just skip by. And it does seem like, um, eh. Again, fuel locations only. We have one little pharmacy, it does seem. Oh, you. Must you do this to me? I just wanted to get through. No, you gotta show me the pickles, do ya? Cause you know I'll stop. You know I'll always stop. Gun on you? Good. Pickles, you're coming aboard here pretty soon. Radiation? Yeah, we'll help. We'll actually probably eat you in the next town over. Take that. Okay. Everything else stays behind. Pharmacy? Yes. Ooh, got those purple pills again. I got plenty of bandages. Alright. We have a... A player house here. Which we could save get a little rest. Let's get a little small rest here. And then we'll jump into... Well, we'll just have some water. And... Uh, that's good. That'll hold off. Now, please tell me there's a construction site here. No, come on, I wanted to see the building for the the, the town first. And this town, and this town is empty. At least there are no survivors. I know it's a large ship and the port in the distance. I might as well check it out. The icebreaker. Now, I did this quest already with my first run, but you guys have been letting me know in the comments, very diligently, by the way, that I should really be careful about the icebreaker this time around. I don't know what... It, not, luckily, nobody spoiled it for me, but I've been told that it's not as easy as I remember it. Oh, good God, there's a construction site here. Oh, sweet RNG Jesus, thank you. It's actually not even RNG Jesus. There it is! There's always going to be a, a construction site here. Give me that freaking card now. Oh, there it is. Oh, jeez Louise. All right, let's handle this head before some creepy crawly handles an attack here. There you are, you scumbag. I've been looking for you so long. What do I need to fix you? Bicycle, bicycle parts? Oh, no. I just remember I don't have any bicycle parts, so I only got one left over. Okay, I don't need bicycle parts to assemble it, though. We can assemble this now. What are we dropping? We're getting a capacity increase of... Ooh, mama. 55? <laughs> now, you're going to be a bit slower, obviously. Just a teeny tiny bit. But hey, for 55, although you do weigh 20 more. So... I don't think that affects me if I'm writing you, though, right? Well, whatever, anyway. We're going to make this either way. Wolfman. Am I glad that I saved before I searched, huh? I can't escape. I'm not sure if you are a... Like a fight that we have to do no matter what. But you are capable of injuring my legs. So I saved anyway, I'll just reload if I have to. I killed him! I killed the freaking thing! 25 firearms, boy! That was a, a scripted fight then, okay. Danger, severe bleeding, use a bandage. Yo, you better not have cut my leg. The gun made me cocky and it nearly cost me my life. I'll be more careful in the future. I could have easily avoided a confrontation with this wolf. A wolf is a tougher opponent than a emaciated lynx and one lousy bullet wasn't enough to stop it. I won't survive another fight like this. Maybe I can come up with something to improve my chances. Can I strengthen my armor? That's not a bad idea. First, I need a stronger needle. But I, but I killed him. I guess you're taking precaution for the next one. I mean, we still killed him. I'm surprised we did. Um, please tell me you didn't. Oh, thank God, no injury disease. So we just have to patch this up, and we're fine. Where's that? Where's that wolf at? <laughs> That's what you get for coming at the boy. All right, hey, hey, you know what I'll do right now? And one more save. And let's go back to what I was trying to do. 
Let me assemble in peace. Oh, thank God. Don't worry, don't worry. Right now we use it. 67 load. We have dropped by roughly 30, right? Woohoo. Alrighty. So, the wear and tear on the bicycle right now is going to be 23. We have enough to drop it down to 3%, but then we got to find parts to fix for the future. But at least now we can carry this freaking chain stuff for the motorized cart. As, oh, as a matter of fact, wait, wait, boys, wait, wait. Why not just make it now, Falcon? You're right. Why not make it now? Machine oil? We could easily get that somewhere around here, I would imagine. Scrap? Same thing. Firewood? Boys, I think we make this motorized cart here today as well. Oh, well, what's around me? Um, primers, we'll take that. Take you. Could butcher your ass right now too, right? Fat bank, fresh bones, you'll be here for five days before you go bad. I'll probably handle the wolf thing off camera. Right now, I would like to get at least the... Um, the motorized card on camera for us. Let me just mark this with an X to remind me that there's a wolf carcass here. Uh, let's go down through here. Supplies. Okay, what exactly am I looking Machine oil, we need cars for that. Scrap. We technically should be able to scrap down random stuff for that. Cabins, another chainsaw. Another chainsaw, you're telling me I didn't have to carry that chainsaw the entire time? See, a couple of you guys told me to do it. I blame you this entire struggle on over here trying to like mitigate my, my load. When apparently I could find one here as well. Uh, let's pick this one up. Drain fuel. We're gonna disassemble you because that should give us fuel if I'm correct. Right? And then that should be enough fuel. All we're then looking for is just scrap. There's our fuel that we needed. I should be able to scrap you down into scrap. So we will do that. Luckily we got hacksaws. Go back in here. What are we missing now? Like probably wood? Ten firewood and five clothes. Okay. Firewood's easy. Clothes, we gotta just find... Are you a department store? Yes. This is where it wanted me to come anyway for the quest, right? In order to find, like, the needle or something? There it is. Um... I guess I'll take it for now. Alright, I've got a needle, but where can I find materials that is sturdy enough? I searched a few buildings and clothing stores, but I didn't find anything that would work. That's when I had a crazy idea. Attaching pieces of car tire to my shirt. Even a wolf won't be able to chew through the thick rubber. It... If the required design is still locked, that means that you need more experience. Um... Is that still locked for me? Sewing? Yes, I haven't leveled up yet. We're close to it, but... Either way, I don't really... I mean, we... I'll aim for it at some point. Just gonna find a couple more rags before we make this happen. I guess I'll take you for now. Take you, take you, take you. Take all this stuff here. The firewood, yeah, we'll come back to it. Uh, I'm just gonna find more rags. So this over here should do once we get those gloves and search that body. Normally you guys are filled with rags, right? Yep. And tear you down. And let's see here. Not to mention this is giving me more experience too for that thing it wants me to do. So, that's good now. What's left over? Just the... The wood, correct? And the scrap which I... I left back over there, right? Yes, I don't think I'm carrying the scrap, but I left it back we're gonna make it from. So fire with that. Shouldn't we be able to break you guys down for... Oh, yes, we can. Give me that. Back here we go. Nobody bother me right now. No attacks, no blindside attacks. I'm busy. There's a scrap right there. We got it, boys. Gonna give me 50 to mechanics. And capacity up to 120 from 75. Yes, sir. Of course, we have to start using fuel now. That's fine. I think it's worth Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that load! With everything that we're carrying, we're down to 49 now. We have a faster vehicle. It's gonna cost us fuel, but hey. I can now go back to the places that I left fuel from, pick it up, and go forward. So, we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, I'm gonna work on getting that sewing up to the next level to get that survival of the fittest in quest done. And then next episode, I guess we're coming on down to... Whoever next one's gonna do, right? I don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out. Oh, icebreaker next episode. Yes, we'll do the icebreaker. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Any tips, by all means, leave them. I will catch you next time.